Happy New Year to all of you. This is important news. Top experts have confirmed that older Americans can now save on 2023 taxes by claiming this. This could mean more money in your pockets and smaller bills. Dear friends, I'll be sharing more with you regarding this. So please make sure that you watch until the end of this video, especially if you are a senior or a retiree. Also, tomorrow I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. You said, and I quote, and, and goes without saying that everybody here wishes you the very best in your struggle with breast cancer. Thank you. Uh, you said, and I quote, every treatment I have received was supported by NIH funded research, correct? Correct. Can you give us some idea based on your expertise about how much treatment for breast cancer costs in this country today? Somebody has breast cancer over a period of years, how much is it going to cost? Uh, Chairman Sanders, that is uh, a widely variable result. Um, I, I truly could not give you an estimate because breast cancer is incredibly complicated and can range anything from, you know, a simple surgery to uh, right. years and years and years of uh, very extensive. Would therapy. I be wrong in saying that for some individuals it will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for treatment? I believe that is correct. What do you say, as a physician yourself, to somebody who is undergoing treatment for a drug or treatment that was developed by taxpayer dollars that they can't afford or are going to go deeply in debt to pay for? What's, what does one say to a person to say, thank you for your tax dollars developing the drug, but I'm sorry you can't afford the treatment you need to stay alive. What, how, do, how does one respond to that person? Yes, uh, Chairman Sanders, I have to tell you that I have sat in clinic next to patients of my own who, for one reason or another, could not afford their treatment. It is, it is a tragedy. I uh, sincerely appreciate you championing the cause of affordable and accessible care for all Americans. And if confirmed, I will work with you to the fullest extent of my abilities to also ensure that that is the case. Now friends, according to Yahoo News, older adults found some relief from inflation last year after the largest cost of living adjustment for Social Security in nearly 40 years. But the tax ban is now coming and people may want to find ways to reduce their taxable income. One way is to take the extra standard deduction. Everyone knows about the standard deduction, which is a flat dollar amount determined by the IRS that lowers your taxable income without having to itemize deductions like mortgage interest and charitable donations. But there's also an extra one on top of this standard deduction. It is available to anyone 65 and older at the end of the tax year. A larger overall deduction for older adults further reduces their taxable income and that means a smaller tax bill and more money in your pocket. Taxpayers who are at least 65 years old, the amount of the additional standard deduction varies depending on your filing status, whether you or your spouse is at least 65, and whether you or your spouse is blind. The Internal Revenue Service has said that for tax year 2023, you are considered 65 if you were born before January 2nd, 1959, if you or your spouse were also legally blind by year's end, you can claim an even larger additional deduction. You also cannot be claimed as a dependent or itemize your taxes, among other things. Americans who are blind and under 65 receive the additional standard deduction, not the larger one. For tax year 2023, the additional standard deduction amounts for taxpayers who are at least 65 years old or blind is $1,850 for single or head of households 
and $1,500 for married taxpayers. So if you are at least 65 years old and blind, the extra standard deduction is $3,700. If you are single or filing as head of household, it is $3,000 per qualifying individual if you are married, filing jointly or separately. Internal Revenue Service data from tax year 2020 shows that nearly 90% of Americans take the standard deduction. However, whether you should itemize or not depends on whether the total of your itemized deductions tops your standard deduction or whether you must itemize deductions because you cannot use the standard deduction. Also, friends, U.S. Federal Reserve officials expect interest rates will need to remain high for some time to tackle stubborn inflation. The Fed announced last month that it would continue to hold interest rates at a 22-year high and penciled in up to three rate cuts in 2024. Since then, Fed officials have looked to dampen the market expectations that cuts were imminent, stressing that inflation remains stuck above the central bank's target rate of 2%. Since peaking in 2022, the Fed's favored inflation gauge has fallen sharply, reaching an annual rate of 2.6% in November 2023. The so-called core inflation also cooled last month to an annual rate of 3.2%. But at the same time, economic growth has shown signs of moderating the job market appears to be softening, and the unemployment rate has remained close to record lows. These facts have fueled hopes that the Fed is on track to bring down inflation while also avoiding a damaging recession. It is a rare feat known as soft landing. Speaking at a conference, Richmond Fed President Tom Barkin said, a soft landing is increasingly conceivable but in no way inevitable. Tom Barkin, who is a voting member of the Fed's rate setting committee this year, also stated that there was no autopilot and that policymakers would continue to be guided by the incoming data. Well, my magnificent and most marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Dear friends, thank you so much for being part of this community. Tomorrow, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. Please make sure that you enter the giveaway, friends, by clicking and liking several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you, and have a wonderful and very blessed week.